Well, good morning. Um, my name is David Dunlap. I was the first minister of uh, First Presbyterian Church in the late 1700s. I died in the first decade of the 1800s. My wife and I died within uh, an hour of each other of a deadly virus. And the venerable Howe is... Always good to be here. And who have we found today? We found Ann Pamela Cunningham, who's buried right here. Now, you are a very notorious lady. Well, I founded, or I'm accredited with saving Mount Vernon. Tell us your story. Well, I was born in Lawrence, South Carolina, and my mother and I traveled to Philadelphia a lot. We would go by steamboat. And on one of the trips to Philadelphia, um, my mother noticed that Mount Vernon was in complete disarray and disrepair. They had old ship's mast holding up the portico instead of the columns. Excuse me. And so my mother made the comment, if the men of America cannot restore and keep this house from ruin, then the women need so to do it. talking about? George Washington's. Well, of course. Our, our first president, Mount Vernon. <laughs> need to go sometime. <laughs> You're one of several very... Uh, uh, outstanding ladies from Lawrence County. Not only was she there from there, but also Will Lou Gray was there, and also um, Julia Peterkin, none of the, whom you know anything about. But, but it's interesting for the folks who understand South Carolina history. <laughs> it was before my time. Happy now, your time. You, you had some affliction. I did. I was injured in a riding accident in my um, high school years, so I did have a disability, and that is one reason that we traveled to Philadelphia to see a physician there. And it's mentioned right here uh, on the tombstone uh, that it is good for me that I have been afflicted. Yes. Now, you weren't married. I was not married, and um, my mother's words about Mount Vernon inspired me. And I came back um, to South Carolina and started writing letters, um, just challenging the women of the nation of the 30 states of the Union to raise money to restore and preserve Mount Vernon, George Washington's home. And we became the Mount Vernon Ladies Association and were able to eventually within the decade, we started in 1853, and before the WOA, um, we were able to purchase, raise $200,000. Wonderful. To purchase Mount Vernon. That's extraordinary. Now, mm -hmm, it really, because we had so Who is this? Boys. Come on in. <laughs> John Calvert. You're, you're back. I saw you last week. Now, you were buried over there. You yes. are, you're an American war hero. I am. You fought in uh, the Revolutionary War, resisting British taxation. I did. But we found out something about you. Um, since last week. We did. Found out I owned a tavern, and by recollection, I believe it was in Charleston, but it may have been in Columbia. My memory uh, You've been isn't as clear. Time. Been yeah. here a long time. Yeah. What kind of tavern? Uh, I think it was just a mead hall, uh, somewhere that some of the war heroes would come and, and hang out and enjoy time together and uh, recall resisting taxation. That's great. Well, wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you again, and uh, stay safe, and we'll see you next Friday. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you want to make sure you get all of our content, not just videos, but podcasts and ministry updates, make sure you download our app. If you think you might have missed a video, click on our YouTube channel. A link should be down below. There you can see all of our videos. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything in the future, hit subscribe. If you want to be one of the first ones to know when we release a video, hit that little bell icon. And if this video has blessed you, and you can think of someone else that it might help, use that share icon and send it to them. All, of course, for the edification of God's people and the glory of his name. Until next time, God bless.